Our next caller is Dalton from California. Hey, what's up, Dalton? How can we help you? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, good to talk to you. Um, I had a couple questions about the uh, MAPS performance um, program. Uh, for, to give you a little background, um, I've been lifting for a long time. Um, and then I recently started pro uh, following you guys, followed Anabolic, and uh, got a lot of gains from that. Um, lagging body parts caught up, and now I'm doing MAPS performance. Um, I'm also doing the pre-prime and post-prime. And then we yes, asked the, the cool Sorry, guys, I'm on the road. Um, so we stopped at Starbucks to talk to you. Um, <laughs> and I'm also doing uh, the fortification sessions for Zone 1 Zone 2. Um, and I'm also, on top of that, trying to do no, no BS six-pack um, and practicing pull-ups, flat bench, and squats. Um, but my question basically is uh, for MAPS performance, um, when, when the uh, program doesn't specify each side for um, single arm or unilateral movements, um, should I be doing um, the, the given rep range like for both or should I be doing um, like that total amount of reps? Okay, good, good question. People ask this all the time. Yep. So um, you can do, you're supposed to do this, the, those amount of reps per side. Now, when I look at the question that you wrote in, one of the things that you had said also was it felt like it might be too much for you or feel like you're kind of overdoing it a little bit. Uh, is that Sometimes correct? It, it seems like it takes a long time or, or is a lot. So I was just wondering if I was doing that right. Yeah, you are. If you're doing those, the, the, you want to do the total reps is that's per side. Now, okay. uh, how is your progress? Cause you're doing a lot of stuff all at once. And that, if it, that feels like most people would be overtraining. Um, Sometimes it feels like I am, especially when I get a little excited when I'm practicing and I do a little too much. And sometimes I come into my foundational days sore. Um, so then I have to pull back a little bit. Uh, but that's that's about it. Otherwise, I feel really good. Okay. If you feel really good, then you're doing okay. If you see yourself performing and your performance improving, um, then you're doing pretty good. But definitely listen to your body. And this is just a le this is for anybody who's listening. We write these programs as guidelines. They're not hard and fast rules. At the end of the day, you got to listen to your body. Because if I trained a client with MAPS performance, I would modify it according to the person mm -hmm. and how their body responded. So if something is, feels like too much, it probably is, especially someone like you. You sound like you've, you've worked out for a little while and you're pretty consistent. I, you don't sound like somebody who's always looking for a reason to do, to do less. It sounds like you might be someone who might err on the side of more, in, w in which case, I'd say, listen to your body. Uh, mm -hmm. If you feel like you're doing too much, you probably are. Well, yeah, and just to kind of clarify, just so everybody you know can hear, like w what our thought process was with you know a higher amount of reps and like sort of the volume being up high in that you know like zone or uh, uh, you know phase two, for instance, we're trying to introduce a lot of like brand new movements to people, and so. Uh, to be able to practice these movements, uh, we wanted to make sure that, you know, you had an opportunity to um, basically get a lot of practice with that. And so uh, a lot of people have realized that, you know, that is a, a substantial amount of volume for something you might not be familiar with, whereas somebody that's familiar lunging quite a bit, you know, it's a piece of cake for them. So I've gotten both sort of comments, uh, you know, in, in regard to the amount of reps and, and what that's entailed. But our, honestly, we just, we, we try to prescribe it so uh it, it's a way for you to really uh, adapt and and to be able to respond appropriately to multi-planes uh and, and establish that strength well it, it's a way it's a way for us to force clients to lighten the load right so we, we knew by doing like and it's normally the, the one that i think everybody is always asking about is the lunge matrix yeah the lunge matrix is the one that everybody's like holy shit that's so many reps per side are you sure this is written correct <laughs> and so yeah. we get we get that a lot but is this cuz to me that sounds like that was just kind of your your main question was you know am i doing it cor correctly i think you are you're fine i don't know if you were asking what sal was kind of alluding to which is you know maybe too much training volume i think it was just am i doing the program right is there another question that you have in regards to what you're doing right now? Because it seems like that was a pretty basic question. Um, yeah, I guess I was just wondering if uh, if I was doing too much and if if I was programming correctly, because I really bought in and tried to do it, follow your programs as much as accurately as, uh, as I can. And I've seen good results from that. Yeah, so, yeah. I think, and I think Sal said it, where if you're seeing progress, like if you're, your pull-ups are getting better, your flat bench is getting better, 
um, you feel like you're getting stronger, that's such a great indicator that you're probably not overdoing it. You're just mm -hmm. fine. I think that the fact that you're already aware that some days you come into foundational days, you're a little sore. And so you adjust and back off. I mean, I think that's great. I think that you get the concept and you understand that that's not a good thing to come in super sore every foundational workout. But let me tell you, that's inevitable. I don't care how many programs I've written, how long I've been doing this for. I still overreach uh, and and have those workouts where I go, damn it, I did more than I needed to. Next time I'll back off a little bit. And you just get better and better at that the more you practice. And the fact that you're aware of that and you're paying attention to that, it sounds like you're on the right track, man. Okay, sounds good. Uh, my other question um, was I was wondering if it, it's okay to take a day off to um, like test strength gains and, and lift heavy, or would you recommend doing that at the end of the program? I mean, if it's really important to you to see how strong you are, you could do that. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I Honestly, I think the people who should, who should do that are people who are competing in strength type sports where they need to know kind of what their, what their limits are so they could train uh, in terms of percentages. But honestly, it's not that important. Now, if it's something you really enjoy and you really want to do it, then yeah, I would take some time off uh, for testing you know, those maxes. But ideally, you'd want to wait till the end. Okay, sounds great. All and right, then um, I was wondering if you had any recommendations for me to move forward. Um, and during anabolic, I missed a week because I was sick. And then um, two weeks later on, because I was in Kauai, during that time, I did MAPS um, suspension. Um, so I was wondering if I should go back to anabolic um, or I was considering going to something like power lift or aesthetic. It, the, the best, uh, the best route with the order of the programs is maps, anabolic maps, performance, and then maps aesthetic. So if you've already done maps, anabolic, you're finishing maps performance, go into maps aesthetic. We, and then we power lift would follow that. After power that. lift would be good after that, or strong would be good after that. Um, but the, I mean, we wrote the first three, those are like the base, foundational programs and we wrote them specifically to be followed that way that would be like an ideal ideal way to follow those so i would go aesthetic if you're kind of trying okay. to figure out what to follow next all right sounds great yeah all and right man. my Do wife you... and i have been following your programs and, and we love it Excellent. and um i've found more consistency and enjoyment out of my uh, nice. uh programming and working out so i just want to um, tell you guys that you know we appreciate you hell yeah so, man thank awesome. you we appreciate you guys do you have maps aesthetic by the way uh i don't no we'll send that over to you Okay, thanks, guys. So no problem, much. brother. Appreciate it. Thank right, you. Right on. All right, see you guys. Yeah, so rule number one is trust our programs. Follow the programs, trust the programming. Rule number two, break rule number one if your body's telling you otherwise. Yeah. There, there is no other better coach than the signals that your body will tell you. Listen to your body. You got to listen to your body because I don't care who, look, I don't, I, I've, this is what you do as a trainer. When I train clients, I have a great idea of what I want to do with them. And well, these are people I train regularly. So I know what yeah. their bodies are doing. I will change it on the dime. There's always a framework yes. there, you know, to, to utilize, but at the same time, it changes so much, uh, even day to day to where you just really have to listen to what your body's telling you. Uh, and in terms of intensity, volume, all those things, you got to consider, you know, what state your body's in. Uh, he sounds like he's doing great to me. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it, the stuff that he's doing, the choices that he's added. It sounds kind of like a lot, but it's not. Like, I mean, he's he's trying to get better at his bench. Well, the bench is inside the programs, right? So it's not like he's doing the programs, plus he's doing all this extra benching or something. And yeah. the priming and fortification sessions are designed to complement all programs. He's doing the no BS six-pack abs, which could be a standalone program itself, but it also can be integrated into all yeah, of Yeah, you replace programs. the core like, work with it. Your yeah, fine, so he really, I mean, and then the fact that he already is aware of times that when he shows up to a foundational day, there's a little sto a little mm -hmm. sore from the previous one and he overreached, so he backs off. I, I think he's doing great. He's man. just maximizing his maps usage. Yeah, That's yeah, all. yeah. no, totally. He's